the best doctors use ultrasound. That's what I certainly believe. I and mean, it's going to be like a few years time. I think everybody needs to, to use ultrasound. So it's been uh, much more than just complications. It helps us in, uh, in everything that we do. It is a great help to improve your outcome. So my name is Peter Veldhuis. I'm a dermatologist from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So my journey into uh, cosmetic dermatology started about 30 years ago, actually, when I started my own clinic. And then I went into um, university again. So there I did uh, found the uh, uh, section of cosmetic dermatology at the Rasmus University and the main topic, ultrasound actually. I own, together with my colleague Leonie Schelke, a company called Cutaneous in the Netherlands and we do ultrasound educations. Our logo is the best doctors use uh, ultrasound. And that's what I certainly believe. I mean, it's going to be like a few years time. I think everybody needs to, to use ultrasound. So we published quite a lot on ultrasound. And then, well, here we are now in Mexico City. So we became interested in ultrasound because we, uh, at this section of cosmetic dermatology, we met so many complications of filler injections. And uh, one of the natural things to do for me as a dermatologist is to use the ultrasound because I was used to it in phlebology. So we started using ultrasounds to look at the different layers of the skin and the fact if there's any uh, inflammation or not. So it seems natural for us to start with uh, ultrasound. We started with complications, but then at some point we recognized that ultrasound is also a great tool to look at fillers by itself, which layer the fillers are being injected. Uh, learn from that, also about anatomy. You can uh, see, of course, where the uh, vessels are and try to avoid them. That's uh, the natural way to go. So it's been uh, much more than just complications. It helps us in, uh, in everything that we do. And I think that um, well, as, uh, as, as a doctor using injectables, so it's not only for fillers, but also for borderline of toxin, for instance, uh, it is a great help to, uh, to improve your outcome. So I have the venue go. It's a great machine. It's very intuitive. One of the things I love especially is, is it takes the video. It takes such a long, long range of uh, previous scans and you can take that out. And it helps me quite a lot in my uh, presentations also because I have so many videos. It's amazing. It has a great Doppler function. It has great storage function. When using the uh, small parts or the MSK, you can do everything you want. It's even better than many of the competitors to, uh, to use in your aesthetic practice. I'm using it now in, in every patient. And what I, what I find is that the patients love it. That's one thing. And they think it's more safe, which it is, of course. And they recognize uh, the better outcome. Um, for me, it, it does take a little bit more time, but uh, we charge them extra for that, which I think is a natural way to go. So it's, it's, it helps me to, to, to find the exact spot of injection and avoid any blood vessels and other uh, types of uh, complications you may run into. And I must say that um, it is in our country, which is, has grown quite big at this moment, that people are calling up our practice or in other practices to ask whether the doctor is using ultrasound. Otherwise, they don't come. And I think this is going to happen all, all over the world. Patients recognize that this is uh, a benefit uh, both for them and well, also for the doctor. When you start using ultrasound or you consider starting to use ultrasounds, what I feel and I hear, hear from other colleagues is that they, there are some barriers to start with ultrasound in your practice, of course, right? First of all, you have to, to learn how to, to use it. And of course, there is a learning curve. But once you um, invested your time in it, then you're, you're going to uh, see that you're, you're quite easily get further and further with that. And at some point, it's just natural to use it. You have it next to your patients, and then it, it only takes like a few minutes to scan the area that you're going to inject into and avoid the, the blood vessels. So that's, that's point number one. The second thing is that you also recognize once you're, you're doing things that you, you're in a correct layer. So that makes it much more easy and much more effective and also safer to, to use ultrasound. So there's a great benefit for your practice. You won't have patients calling you because of hematoma or other things. For patients, uh, we found out with our research we're doing at uh, Erasmus University that it's, uh, it's very helpful uh, because the doctors are going to see um, if there's any filler already there in this area. We had this, uh, this very unfortunate situation 10, 20 years ago well, we still had permanent fillers. And of course, permanent fillers stays there permanent. So if you combine these, you can run into very serious problems. And patients frequently don't remember 
uh, that they had this, this treatment before. What we recognize more and more is that there's a big, a big or sometimes a subtle difference uh, between different parts of the world, between different backgrounds for, from people. This might influence the way that you want to treat. For instance, we, we found that the shape of the subcutaneous tissue, the thickness of the subcutaneous layer, uh, is very different from Europeans as opposed to Asians. If you know that, for instance, the uh, biostimulating fillers are being injected in the subcutaneous tissue, it's very important to know that. So the future for ultrasound in dermatology, I think in dermatology in general, is very, very good. We are focusing on uh, aesthetics now with the improvement of the uh, devices, with the higher frequencies, for instance, but better resolutions, etc. Uh, we're going to see more and more. And um, I'm trying to uh, get my department uh, doing more and more uh, with ultrasound on different uh, types of benign and malignant tumors, for instance, but also other types of skin diseases. And then some other thing that's, that's going to happen is the artificial intelligence that will be involved in, uh, in the images and uh, will give you like an automatic outcome of what you're looking at. So this will help uh, tremendously, I think. And I think there's a big future for ultrasound in dermatology in general. The big challenges in the ultrasound right now are focusing on the uh, on the educational parts because uh, as a lot of education needs to be done before you so to say fluent in the, in diagnosing with with ultrasound. There will be a big help with artificial intelligence, of course. Resolution might be uh, might be improved, uh, especially in the more superficial layers. And then we we're going to learn more and more about the behavior of skin as well. So it's my first time in Mexico, and I, I must say I love it. And I have I had a great time up till now. Um, people are very interested. People are also very uh, knowledgeable and intelligent, of course, otherwise you wouldn't be a doctor here. Also, I'm learning myself certain things. Actually, I've read some papers, of course, uh, from uh, scientists in your country, and uh, they've been great. They're doing great research, great work, and I, I, I would love to, uh, uh, to cooperate with them. But yesterday, we did a work workshop, and uh, as always, it's great fun because people are doing hands-on and they, they need to learn. We did this hands-on with uh, almost 30 people, which is a challenge, but that was helped with, uh, by Dr. Isaac Sturman. We were able to go over the whole face and see all the anatomical structures. And uh, we also did like the ultrasound guided injections. So we will be back in, in, uh, in Mexico and all over Latin America to uh, conduct courses. Please start with these machines, uh, start with ultrasounds for the benefit of yourself, for the benefit of your patients. And at some point, everybody's going to recognize that the best doctors use ultrasounds.